Good afternoon to you, my two brothers and sisters. Why are you doing what you are doing? It's me, your friend, Vanessa. Eb Domo wa bebe nege kai wa ya domo i'm here to talk to my people i'm here to talk to my people my people wa ya we si wa bebe nege reka please if you come across this video please share it Share this video. I want it to get to any blogger, anywhere you can help me. You people should help me. I do brothers and sisters, I am pleading with you to please help me. To please help me. Brothers and sisters, there's serious trouble. I didn't want to bring issues, you know, when, when people, when, um, people will always say it's not really good, it's not really nice to bring family issues to social media. But at this point, I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice than to call out to people to help me. I need help. My brothers and sisters, I need help. I didn't want to do this. But I don't have any choice because I'm dying slowly by the day. I I don't know. I don't know where I, I have gone wrong. I have spent all my life. I've spent over three decades trying to find out from my family what I have really done that has warranted the sort of maltreatment that I have been getting from them. For those of you who have beautiful families, that have wonderful families, I, I, I celebrate with you, I, 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 I congratulate you, but it's not so for everybody. It's not so for everybody, it's not so for me. My story is just too, it's just too ugly. It's just too ugly to bring, to bring out. My other sister in Canada is harassing me. She has been harassing me for a very long time. My mom that gave birth to us, my mom, I, do, I, I have spent all my life begging my mother to tell me where I went wrong so that I can rectify whatever mistake is in, in, that is on ground. My mom married two men. She had my eldest brother and sister for their father and she had me separately we were two i lost my younger brother for my father the age gap between them me and them is a very is very wide obviously my mom has left that marriage before she met my father she gave birth to us and she started taking care of us but at, from the age of 12 i knew my mom she really did not like me. But I still did everything. I'm the last child because I lost my younger brother. Presently, I'm the last child. My mother has never accepted me as a child. My mother has always used my elder siblings to intimidate and embarrass me because I have health issues. I'm living presently in my sister's house October 25th, to make it four years, we moved into this place. My seven when my sister was building this house, I swear on my life, I told her, when it was time for my mother to move from her house here, I told her sister, I know they go. 
She asked me what were the reasons I told her I don't I'm tired of I'm tired of the embarrassment. It is an opportunity for me to stay away from the family. Fine. She pleaded with me and she asked me to move in that she wasn't going to leave me empty that she's going to get a, 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 a two flat house. That immediately she's done refurbishing, she's done a, renovating the front apartment, then I will have to take over the back apartment. When I moved into my sister's house four years ago, I came into this house on my legs. I came with my both legs. Today, in four years, I'm not working with a worker. My family, they don't care. They, they are not interested. All they just want is to get rid of me from the family immediately. My other brother, I don't even know how to go about it because it's something I really have been, I've been trying to deal with on my own, but it's not working. It's not working. My sister today has told me to leave the house. She's ejecting me from this house with critical health conditions and have nowhere to go. My mother, who has been aiding and abetting her, my mother claims, the claim they have against me that I have spent over three decades trying to find out. My mother says she did not enjoy her marriage with my father. I'm also a sickle cell patient that she had me. That my father, she, she, she made a mistake having me. My other ones, they claim that my mother abandoned them to come and marry my father. So for that reason, that was why they are going. That is why my other brother's life is the way it is now. My sister, they have their allegations against their mom. So and now my mom, who is almost seventy-five, she's now dealing with me, drilling me to, to make up for the times she neglected my older siblings. I don't know why. I don't know why. I have called, I have gone through families, family members, nothing is working. All they want is for me. It is either I leave the house or I die. To the point of for 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 some days ago, I put food on or I, I was cooking. I went to the shower to take my bath. Before I came, I met some things on top of my food. I don't know why my mother wants to kill me. They have threatened that they are coming to throw my things out of the house. My sister is telling me that she, she, has, she has money, that she's in Canada, she will intimidate me with money because I don't have money to go and get an apartment for myself. I'm not ashamed to say I don't have money because I have spent all my life taking care of myself. I spend a lot of money just to stay alive. I have exhausted everything I have. I have a seven-year-old daughter. She's my full responsibility. I don't have anywhere to go. She's kicking me out. They kicked me out from my mother's house. Now they are kicking me out from my sister's house. I don't know where I'm I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I have tried. I have been loyal to this family. I have worked for them. I have been, and as the last child of the house, I have been, I have been loyal. I, I, they, before I, uh, these health issues started deteriorating, I know how I worked for my sister. She will call me 5 p.m. in the evening that she has an appointment in Lagos that I should hit the road. 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I'll be on the road going to Accra, Ghana for her sake. So that, things, so that things will get bad for her. I will be on the road midnight. As I'm coming from Lagos, they are booking another, another appointment for me to go back. That there's something I want to do for her. I neglected my education. They didn't support me through anything. I, 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 I will be very fair in all honesty. My, my, I won't say they don't, they did that in the past that one or two, uh, you know, normal level now, just if first or thing give you. 
But say me they can't really do something for me. My my siblings have my siblings have refused to see past that thing that my mother has planted between us that I am not the same father with them. People that I'm talking to, my brother is over 50 years. My sister is close to 50. They don't see anything beyond I am not the same father with them. My mom is the one that is just in between and doing things to frustrate me. I don't have anywhere to, even this place, the area I'm living in now, in my sister's house, I don't have anybody here. I don't know anybody here. I am always indoors doing my thing. Now that I, 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 I need peace and rest just to focus on my health, my family, they are kicking me out. My brothers and sisters, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need help. I've become so depressed. I've become so so emotionally disorganized. I don't know where I've went. I've gone wrong. I have used all my life to please my mother. I'm the only child that I know that I have really served my mother as a child should serve her mother. I have done. I have really helped my mother. Her claim remains that my father did not treat her well. That's the offense that I have committed. And that I'm a sickle cell patient. My people, they are kicking me out. I don't have anywhere to go. And that is why I came online this afternoon. I didn't sleep last night. They keep calling me, threatening me to throw me out of the house. My other brother said, it's coming. I, it's, this is the work I used to work. I won't have to lie. This is with the end of this is what I used to move in this condition. So the point that living in my family, living with my family comes with a heavy price. Every item I use in this house up to a toothpick I buy for myself. Nobody, food or everything I am on my own. Meanwhile, I am sick and I am disabled. I don't have a job. I am on my own. If I should make any mistake, I am, I'm like somebody that's standing on eggshells. If I make any mistake, help them open the windows of hell. Oh, me, I don't know what to do, my brothers and sisters. I need your help. I need to not help Wallao. Why will you bomb me? Yeah, why did you buy me? Can you hear? You make any real wallow. This is the heavenly part before they will kill me, before they will poison me. Because my mother has vowed that I'm going to die before her. And I have been begging her to tell me why she's wishing me to die before her. All she keeps telling me is that my father did not treat her properly. My older ones continue to say, that my mother abandoned them to come and marry my father. And for this reason, they will never let me have peace. If you do walao, if you do walao, wabumeri. Wabumeri, I make it, 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 wabumeri, wabumeri. I make it, 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 God remains my weakness. My sister begged me to move into her house so that my mother would not be alone here. It was never my intention to come to this house because I knew one day my sister is going to throw me out of the house. She pleaded with me that only my mother would not be in this house that I should come with her. Today, herself and my mother and my other brother, they are kicking me out of this house with disability, with ailments. The voila. A lot of things have been going on that I should I should not use to bother people, but what 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 else can I do? What else can I do? Thank you, bros. Don't worry, God my Omorege Mark John. God bless you, bros. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you. 
So my people, I don't know when people talk about when people talk about suicide, when people say they are depressed, I really did not understand it at, until I got to this point. Every day I have suicidal thoughts in my head. What kind of a life is this? Every minute, that is why I'm calling on people to help me. I need help. I am depressed. I need help. At night, I will wake up. I won't sleep. My mind will be telling me to take my own life because I have health issues. My family, they, 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 anything anybody can do, the worst thing anybody can do to another person is what I am getting right now. No matter the treatment I take, nothing is working because my environment is toxic. There's too much bitterness. There's too much allegations, counter allegations against me. I have been begging to, for acceptance, for my family just for my family just to accept me as one of them. For my family to accept me and be crying for acceptance for years. I am the stranger in my family. My mother scapegoated me right from when I was a child. My people, they said they are going to come, they are going to bring boys, they are going to throw me out of this house in, in, in the situation that I am. I've been pleading with my sister to give me time. She should give me time, let me cry out to people and get an apartment and, and leave. She says, no. Where do I go? I'll be pleading with her. Give me time. Give me time. Give me a month. Give me two months. And let me go. Naim be the one when yes, so I brought you know him. Naim, he did, he did my mama house. He did my mama house. Naim be the agbero. Naim be the talk when they used to they embarrass me. Over the years, my mother, my brother, and my sister have perfected the acts of 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 of. I don't know. I've never seen. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. They, they, they have this, my mother has this Oshomole kind of personality. She's a good orator. She knows what to say to, to make people turn their hearts against me. She knows what, to, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Because me, I am somebody that, I have a free heart. I might be confrontational when you are being unfair to me. But I am not an aggressor, I am not an oppressor. I can never intimidate you. But my mom has this, this, ten, this ability to intimidate, like if she, people will buy, in, buy in into her story at any point. So it's the same with this, my brother, you're asking of uh, uh, Bros, Omorege um, um, John. I did not say I will not leave her house. There was a time in the hospital last year, I was almost dying. I called my cousins. They were ready to help me, but they wanted to speak with my brother and my sister first. Those my cousins, they are very nice people. Till date, I don't know what my brother and sister told them that made them change their mind. I have health issues that need surgery on my both knees and my hip, both hip, side of my hips and my knees. I have other surgeries that I, 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 I'm due for, but I don't have the means to go for them yet. I'm still working things out. All I beg my family is to give me peace of mind and let me focus. I'm always locked up in the, my own world, in my own room, just to avoid crisis. My mother keeps blaming me for the mistake she made in her life. And she has made me to carry a cross that hasn't been mine. She has made me to bear the burden. All my life I have been thinking that maybe I've come, not that I've been thinking, I've accepted the fact that I've, I'm, the, I'm the one that has caused problems in everybody's lives. But now I know I am not the person that caused the problem. These people are just bitter for decades. Mm -hmm. They have continued to to be beat against me. Stand one law, no one happy there. No one law. Imagine or sunu, imagine or sunu. I went by a winger, yes, I went by a winger. 
Sister Joy, you there? I want to buy we are o Amen you o Amen you Iya me when you come here ni ni ya fam ni ni na no no na No me no pe no do no do re him if you you worry Sister Joy la mo go call star I don't say you there here Amen, 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 Again, yeah, yeah, you want to go to oh, I go, oh, I go, my women rock, but why if we are better, you are what? I yeah, tell him, and yeah, live our woman. Oh, when I if you're so one now today, a walk I am here, why I'm me again, one are you better last year? I give a crutch to your hair again, and they are here, and on this, I have to buy everything on my own. A man who were less here, man, we are so sorry. Eke eriya a bi eme na ni ye me wa ya so ke gbo bo ha de gbe wo me this thing don't cause depression for my body it don't cause depression to this i said that every time i'm always thinking of taking my life it has gotten to the point at times i will even hurt myself i wouldn't know it has come to the point that i, I can just i can't be walking and i'll trip i'll fall it is bad it is bad, and I'm not going to make it here. Yeah, better man than we manakba. Yeah, who? Yeah, mokba ye si klare. Yeah, mokba ye a a a bi a bi a mo a bi a mo ve yo ve. Yeah, mo swo eh. Yeah, mo swo eh. My do people. Me kuna beg. Me kuna help me. I just said I should come on like this morning, this uh, uh, this morning, because the one that really, the final one, everything I do in the asset way, I can call him. Eh? Area we want on area we want on. When I am thinking of how to get out of my health problems, when I am thinking of how to get out of this ugly situation, I was not like this. I was not like this. All my family sees every day. They hip on me every day. It's issues, issues. I'm not saying, I, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to attract sympathy. I'm not trying to attract pity. That is me. I, I hate pity. Rather, I would even appreciate if you, if you support me, if you help me, than to pity. I'm not trying to get pity. I'm not trying to get sentiment. I'm just trying to make an appeal, a public appeal to the world to please that people should please help me. Help me, my sister has given me automaton that if I don't leave her house, she's going to use my other brother to come and throw me out without me not even knowing what was going on. I didn't even know this, all these plans were going on until my niece started calling me and telling me things, telling me things. Then my other brother called me and said, he, he, he's, coming, he's coming to throw me out, me and my child out of the house. I've not, I've not said I will not leave this house. But all I'm begging them is that they should give me time and let me call out for help. Let me call out for people that can help me. So that one day, you people will not wake up to the news of my death. Now I see why people end their life. Now I see. I'll be begging for my family to show me love since I was a child. They refuse to show me. <laughs> Peter, not be my fault. Not be my fault. They say now who wear shoe. Now I know where the shoe for the pain now. There's nothing I really can do. In fact, what I am doing now, many people, if they find myself in my shoe, they won't even be able to take it. They will not be able to take it. 
I won't be able to take it. Purum Ipigansi. Who is Moses Erami? So, my, if you don't know, me, Walao, Wabumeri. Wabumeri, Wabumeri. I'm not somebody that is lazy. I'm not somebody that has a dull spirit. I'm not somebody, I'm somebody that has, I'm a vibrant person. But these people, they have taken me to the level I never expected to see myself in life. I don't know why my sister in Canada is harassing and embarrassing me. I don't know what I have done to her. I have been loyal to her. She asked me to move into her house. I don't know why she keeps embarrassing me. At this point of my life when I'm vulnerable, when I have issues with health to deal with, when every cupboard that comes to my hand goes for my treatment, when I have a child and pain her school fees, when I have to put food on my table for me and my child, this is the best time my sister is choosing to embarrass me. This is the best time my mother is putting her two children to fight me. I don't know, I don't know where to add. I don't know, I'm confused. My people may not still give me a suggestion. Wanna help me? Wanna help me while I while I wanna beg, now they beg. Well, say, I hear my mommy. I hear mommy, I hear you, I hear you. I don't forget, I don't get your number. I don't know whether I get your number or yeah, check it. If I don't if I don't see her, I'll send you a message for WhatsApp. For a messenger. Be me, be me. My mother comes up with all sorts of frivolous accusations she comes up she comes up with just anything about anything to frustrate me how will i survive this i have had enough courage peter you will not know you will not know you will not do you will not do you will not know. You will not know what I have been through. The price I have paid. The price I have paid. Thank you, sir. Left is. I'm almost like we know. We know why. God bless you. I don't know what you are going to do again. Oh, I don't know what you are going to do. Everybody around me that helps me to do physical things, run around, they'll tell them to stay away from me. With my disability, I need somebody around me to assist me. The people, please. I am begging, please help me to share this video. I want it to, you. I want you both. Should, I'm calling on everybody. Edo, Nigeria, everybody. Wala. I'm calling on everybody. Help me to share this video. Help me to share this video. My life is in danger. My life is at risk. One day you people will wake up to the news that Vanessa is no more. One day you people will wake up to the news that Vanessa is gone. Please, now that I'm alive, you people should please help me. You people should please help me. I don't wear me now, man. I have more yagi on my. Eh, eh. Oh, we just no have popo, man. I go lele ga go big big. If my sister can be doing this to me, after all the all the all, all the things that she, she I have labored to do for her, if she still can be doing this to me, I don't know what the future holds for me. Oh, should please.
she will please come to my aid. Okay, I'll check him. I'll check him if I finish. Amen. Harris in verse eight. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my brother. Thank you. They are taking eventually everything away from me. My happiness, my smile. They've taken everything on allegations that I know nothing about. On allegations that my mother has claimed for years that my father did not do anything for her. On allegations that my other ones that my mother neglected them, abandoned them to go and get married to my father. For that reason, I will not have peace. I will not find peace. I have tried to... I don't see them that way. I relate to them. I see them as the only brother and sister I have. Right from childhood... I have never, my mother has never let, allowed me to enjoy this brother sibling relationship with them. She has always isolated me, made me the scapegoat, and she's making, she's, 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 she's being cruel to me to make up for the time my other ones claim where Noya Sinyabo. My sister in Canada, I, I don't know what I did to her. I don't know what I did to her. Up to the point at home, they would say, they would put full stuff in the house. She would tell my mother to go and hide them in the room. I just look at these things as rubbish. I just, I, I don't, because I have a mindset that I don't believe in igual where yao ye I believe in my own. So when they do these things, I, Try to be strong and just move on and just look for a way to get those things. But of course, life will not be fair. This is Nigeria for crying out loud, where the government doesn't really have any role to play in anybody's life. This is Nigeria where you don't have anybody to turn to. So that is why my own case is so terrible that I don't have anybody to turn to. They are the only family that I have known, but the, this family has not accepted me from from the beginning, especially my mother. My mother keeps telling me, she, do you know what it is for you to tell? There are things my mother has told me in life that I will never be, I will never forget. There are things my mom has told me that a mother shouldn't tell a child. There are things my mom has told me. There are things she, my mother has done to me that a mother should not do to a child. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. I have lived in my mother's house for two, two, two years or three years. They subjected me from, to drinking water from the toilet. My elder brother banned me from the kitchen. Nobody saw anything wrong with it. I only had access to my room, my bedroom, and when I'm going out. That is the same circle they are about to start here now. Because I resisted, like, how long are we going to continue like this? They are kicking me out of the house. I don't have anywhere to go. If I had money, I would have gotten an apartment and moved out. Because that's the only way I will save my life and the life of my child. That's the only alternative that I have. But they know that I, 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 I cannot do that right now. Now they are telling me they want to come and bring talks to kick me out of the house. With physical disability, with ailments. With the aid of my mother. And your name, mommy. I, I don't hear, mommy. I'll send you my number. I'll send you my number. I'll send you my number. In my father's house is a very big polygamous home. It's a very big polygamous home. My father was a prominent politician, but he did not. My father, you know, these men with their men marrying many wives, and having a lot of children. Even in my, my boy, I'm standing in the middle. 
I don't have a full blood brother. On my father's side, I have half siblings. On my mother's side, I have half siblings. I'm trapped in the middle. I'm trapped in the middle. I don't have any. I don't have anybody like Oviera Vienni Mawai Basiebo Sio Siebo Bo O Boy Be Ero Ero Me Ero Me My brothers, please. I need help. I need help. I need help. I need help. People should help me. People should help me. I am depressed. I need help. I need help. I have a child. I don't want to live in this world. I know the, the, their aim is to get rid of me and make my child, the only child God gave to me, to make her the, the, the house girl of the family. They want to make my daughter, if I die, my daughter will, they will not be rotating my daughter to, to this one, go use her finish, she go give her to the other one. That is what they intend to do to me. From what I'm seeing, that is what they intend to do. Oh, mommy, okay. I got you, Wune. I had to do it with me. I had to, I had to do it with me. So go on, dear. I am, oh. I am, mommy. I am, I am, I am. When it's so loud, dear. When it's so loud, dear. When it's so loud, dear. I can't hear it. Sometimes I will make some posts on Facebook. People will not understand. While I'm trying to. Look for ways to, to, mm. while I'm trying to look for ways, my brother, you will not understand, because even the public you are talking about is the same public they are taking me mm. to. It's the same public they are taking me to, I understand you. Why I really came out is, I really want to make people see what I'm going through. I'm going through a state of depression. I'm always having suicidal thoughts. I'm, I'm, I'm being intimidated. I'm being pressed. I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm being, I'm being, my mom and my elder siblings, they, ha they don't know what they intend to achieve, but this one has gotten out of hand. So I just said, let me come out. The reason why you hear people, when you see people do things. When I made a post about last week, I'll be too, with somebody reached out to me and was Somebody told oh, please when Uncle if I finish the video, please I'll call you when I finish. I want to round round up. When I finish when somebody told me, I didn't even know he was a psychiatrist nurse. He he reached out to me and he told me I he told me I, that I should explain things to him, which I did. After telling me, I said, he told me to come out and talk to people that are talking sometimes is, a, is therapy. So I, I told him, I'm, my, I'm shy, but no, I'm not, I'm not the shy type, that I don't want to bring my problems public, I don't want to talk about it. He said I should talk about it, it will help me a lot. So those are some of the reasons why I came out. I didn't have any intention of coming out anytime soon. But I wanted to fix things before I would come out and just say a little of my story. But this one that I keep getting threats from my brothers and sisters every day. My brother called me 10 p.m. last night and told me that he's giving me 24 hours to move out of the house. This is my same brother when he was here two months ago. He, he, he was always ragging me and Taratu 2K for me to have peace. In, in his sister's house. The things I got for COVID-19, COVID-19 relief, I have to share them and give him his own part. This is somebody who is almost 20 years older than me. All for them to accept me as a family member. My sister is the breadwinner. She's the one that owns, she, she's the one that has dollars. And she, she keeps telling us that uh, she, she makes her money in dollars so she can do and not do. I don't know what I'm, I, I don't have anything I'm competing for. Mm. Uncle, with depression attached to it, 
With depression, I have been strong. I have been strong, but these people, they have been trying to break my spirit and they have broken my spirit. What I'm talking about today is not something that started today. It's something that started on almost 20 years back. They have broken my spirit. I don't have any strength to, to, to keep to myself anymore. They have broken my spirit. They have broken my spirit. And I don't think I can survive in this environment. My health is not improving. No matter the treatment I take, my health is not improving because I'm in a toxic environment. When my mother hates me because my, her marriage to my father did not work out, that is what my mother has been telling me for years. That is the crime I have committed. Have my marriage to, uh, her marriage to my father did not work out. I just don't want to go into details of how they got married, her first marriage and everything. There was nothing special in the first marriage. My people, if who my dear husband has the award, I can't word on us or I go, come on, go marry another man. He go, come on, what did I do? What did I do? You met my father and you people got married, you had me. What is my offense? My brother, if God, I know we say unforgivable, if God is really watching me now, amen, amen, but circumstances of life can cut one. I, the, I, I, the, the problem I have now is inability to move effectively. If I'm able to walk around and do my thing, I won't have these issues with them. Last year, this November, uh, last year I was diagnosed with osteomyelitis along with the avascular, avascular necrosis that I have that I need surgery on my both hips and, le and knees. Osteomyelitis is another one, infection of the bone. I have, not, I have not been able to treat it effectively because I don't have the means to do so. And the little means I have, I used to treat me myself. My mother is not giving me peace. My other ones are not giving me peace. I don't know what else to do. This thing was so bad. The death, uh, 2013, September 15th. I had my baby on the 16th. September 15, my brother stood in front of me with a cutlass that he was going to kill me. I had to run to the police station to get police. He broke into my room with a cutlass when I was nine months pregnant. That I, I was not supposed to sleep, I was not supposed to occupy the room I was occupying. That I should move to another room of the house. The following day, I had my child. So what I'm saying now did not start today. It did not start today. My mother keeps using her children to intimidate and harass me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want Okay, Joy Abada, if, if I leave, the help I need is I want to leave because if I don't leave, my life is at risk. I, my, I stand a chance of my mother poisoning my food. And again, my health will only get better. I have a 50 to 60% chance of surviving these health issues that I have when I leave this house into a better environment. Your environment can determine whether your health will improve or, or it will deteriorate. So I stand a 50-60% chance to get, of, of, of getting better when I leave this house. That is my only option. That is the help. That is why I came online to, to call for help. I don't want, I don't, I'm, I'm tired of the embarrassment. I'm, ti I'm tired of the harassment from my older siblings. They are not children anymore. We are not kids anymore. I'm in my 30s, my sister is in her late 40s, my other brother is in his early 50s. 
So we are not kids anymore. That my my sibling will say they don't they, they don't they don't know what they are doing. They know what they are doing. They they are conscious of what they are doing. They have told me times with that number that I'm not a part of this family. Like what my brother told me this night last night was that uh, uh, my 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 uh, uh, living in my sister's house is a privilege. Really, it's a privilege for a place that did not beg to come and stay. Rather, the owner ha begged me to come in to, so that my mother will not be alone. It's now a privilege. I know before my sister could build, could build this house, I know, I know the role that I played. I am not saying I gave them money. I know the role that I have played in this house that is standing here. When it comes to brainstorming, when it comes to everything out there, they call me. They, 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 I don't, I, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. We are not allow. What happy me? What happy me? What happy me? Okay, Esther, Esther. Esther, Esther says. Okay, my number. My number is zero seven zero three one two five eight eight four zero. Zero seven zero three one two five eight eight four zero. I live by the grace of God. This was not the design. I, this was not the plan I had for my life. I've never been a dull child. I have never been. I've never been stupid. It's just that health issues didn't allow me to do the things that I would have loved to do. School has resumed my daughter. I have to pay her school fees. I, those are the things that I'm even focusing on now. Before the support came around and started harassing me that I should get out of the house. To even make things worse, they had to move my mother out of the house. And my mother should leave me in the house so that I would die with my kids, with my daughter. When they saw that I, I stayed in my own lane, they now said, okay, my mother should move him back to the house. Now my mother said she would not move in until they tell me they, they kick me out of the house before she moves in. I'm the last child. We're just three. I'm the last child of my mother. I'm the one that is closest to my mother. I can I can categorically say I'm the closest child to my mother. I know everything about her. And I'm the child that has really been when they say Peking, Peking when don't because growing up to realize that she she too she's the, She's fully responsible for us, for me. So I, I did everything to make sure I make her happy, to make sure that's, you know, when you grow up to know that your, your dad wasn't really in the picture. It's just that my father, it, it wasn't like my father was in the picture. He was, but you know, all these polygamous men. So growing up to know that my mother takes care of me more. I grew up knowing my mother more. So I did everything to want to make up for my dad's absence. I, I would I do anything she wants me to do. I go anywhere she wants me to go. Anything, any, anything she asked me to do is what I be doing. But I didn't know. I didn't know my mother had hatred for me in her heart. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm not playing any victim, sister. I'm not playing any victim. If I tell my when I'm not playing any victim, you are only intimidating me. I'm not playing victim, sister. Be fair to yourself. Be fair to yourself, sister. Talk true. Sister, talk true. Talk true, may devil shame. Sister, I'm not playing any victim. I'm not playing victim. You are the one that is intimidating me. Don't say that. Don't say that. I asked you, you, you were the one that told me you were going to give me a two-bedroom flat. Since January, since February this year, I called you. I said, sister, I want to move to that place. You said, okay, that I should give you some time because of the COVID. I said, sister, I don't have anything to, that I will use to put uh, patterns there. You said, no problem. Then after the COVID and everything, after that, you told me that the judge was moving in from Port Harcourt. After, after I've asked you, February, uh, during the COVID, when it was in Nigeria, you said 
two months I'll be a month later. I said, but our judge is moving in. From there, you ask for the to come and he, and he stayed there for two months. From there, they started a poultry with the apartment. From there, when crisis happened in the house, you told you moved mommy into that apartment. It is now, now mommy's not saying that she will not come. That she will not come be, unless I get out of the house before she comes. Why? Why? Because you did not, you, 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 you could not settle issues. You, I will call you and I will complain to you. You will tell me, say, now, now, no. Most times I don't call you. When you tell me, say, if I need anything, I call you. I don't call you. And I'm not saying you, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, that I've said it earlier in this video. So, it might play a victim, yeah, yeah. It might play a victim. You are the one, you have been harassing me by proxy. You have been harassing me right from a go. You have been harassing me. What am I mean when you are there? Yes. Yeah, you care for my child. My father's child, my father's child denied. You see, these are the things. Now she is here. I think you see her. This, uh, my mama, I don't know whether you follow up. Oh. These are the things. Yes, yes. This is how, these are the acts they have perfected over the years. That if I raise a voice against, if I raise a voice against uh, their, the, the way they are treating me, they will always bring up issues, sentiments to always. That's what I said. My mom has this Oshemole personality. They, they have this very defensive, they have things to say. Because I'm the youngest child in the house, they have a, they have a lot of things, a, lo a, a lot of things to use against me. As we speak, as we speak, my sister, I went up the night and matter. How many times have I told you? Say, sister, and, and uh, with this condition, when I did so, if you, uh, if I stop, if I drop this video, if I finish with this video, I will post a picture. Before I started asking for help, I went out, out of, I went out to the street when I was almost dying to start begging people. I have a photograph to show before people started helping me. Before I started getting help, I almost died. It's the call I got yesterday night. It's the call I got yesterday night. Can I rather have, have, have I not been keeping quiet? Have I not been keeping calm? It's the call I got yesterday night. Where because I be on sister now, even they let me the dead the house. So if not, therefore don't throw away me come up for the house. Is that what you is is that is is since anything happened in the house? Did you even call to hear my own version? That was the most painful part because you call me every day, we talk every day. So anything, anybody can just wake up. Anything can just come up. I know how many times I have defended you. Even without having to hear your own side of the story. You saw it as, as, as a golden opportunity to embarrass me. To send me packing from your house. In a way, when I was starting to hear me. But no. All I keep calls I keep getting every day is you said it's a do or that fell. I don't have a choice in the matter. I have to leave. I have to leave. Not be people when you the talk to not be that they call me. You say I'm playing victim. Not be people when you the talk to they they tell they give a tomato, not be that they call me. Wish your mother is not having peace. You cooked up an allegation against me. My people see what I think. Now, cross, now this one I tell the worker, it has four legs plus my two legs. I have six legs.